Oh no, I forgot to charge my car, but that's okay, because I'm at the steward. We're having this big old event for the Oregon Electric Vehicle Association. I've got uh, some friends here. Maybe someone from Charge Point. Yeah. Should we go check out the charger? Let's go check them out. Let's go do it. Yeah. We'll have a quick chat while we do. Awesome. So, uh, this building has, has Charge Point chargers. Uh, how does that work? Yeah, so I'm with Evergreen Charging Solutions. I'm a reseller for Charge Point here in the Northwest. Uh, ChargePoint and myself worked with the owners of the building, Josh, uh, to install 16 level two chargers in the garage here at a multifamily property. Um, so it's really nice. This is a, the first, I believe, net zero apartment building in Tigard, Oregon. Um, and what's really neat is we've, uh, we'll go take a look at the chargers now, but it's gonna be nice for all the residents to have dedicated uh, charging spots with a dedicated uh, circuit breaker. We'll talk about maybe that a bit more when we see them. So if I've got uh, a business, if I've got a, a rental, if I've got an apartment building, or really anything. Where are we at? P1? P1. Uh, then I would talk to someone like you about getting that solution set up. Exactly, yeah. And what if I want uh, five or 50 chargers? Does it matter? It doesn't. No, I can do projects of all sizes. But I think that's the really cool part about ChargePoint and the power management system, the software that goes with it. Depending on how much power you have, you have a lot of power, a little bit of power, we can uh, build the, the project to size for the amount of power you have for today or in the future. So um, yeah, depending, 5, 50, we can, we can you know, work backwards from your power and make sure it works. Do all of it that way. I'm parked up there, so okay. we'll figure it out. Let's go check it out. Now on uh, ChargePoint, let's say I am that, yeah. the, the owner of the building, and I want, uh, you know, I, I want to give my, my, cus my employees, my renters, the best deal, but I don't want everyone using it. Yeah. What do I do? Yeah, so ChargePoint has built in on the app, which is really nice. You can do something called connections, where you set a group for certain people. So for instance, in this building, this is residents only. So they, the ChargePoint app will have a connection code for them, meaning that just people that live here in the steward will have access to it. It'll show up for them on the map. It'll, let, it'll authenticate for just those users, but it won't let anyone else see it. So me as a random person, won't have the ability to charge, but anyone else uh, will. So you can uh, set users. Yep. You set can users. set it in your app. You can set pricing as well. So special pricing for residents versus for maybe guests sure. or for a special group of people. So we've got guest pricing and and an employee pricing. Yeah. Uh, so you can kind of do whatever. Now, what kind of handles do we have here? We have the J1772, which is the, the standard level two charging uh, plug. I might need to. I think I've got my adapter. That's so funny. Yeah. I've got my phone here. Yeah. I'm going to pull up my ChargePoint app, Perfect. which I have never used. There you go. And what do I need to do? Okay, so go ahead and sign up. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord. Go ahead and type in all your information there. Let's see if that. Beautiful. That took, what, a minute? It took about a minute. Yeah, that's, that's you don't have the app at all. I would say a lot of EV drivers, you know, among the apps, Tesla app, the ChargePoint app, there's quite a few EV drivers that do have the ChargePoint app for public charging. And it now says, tap to charge. Do I literally just do this? So let's try it because the- Hold the back of your phone flat against the reader. Let's try it. I mean, did that do something? So I would go ahead and- um, hit Hit that? Yeah, keep going all the way through the instructions. Okay, so go to done. Oh, I see. Yeah. I was still in my settings. Yeah, you were still just, so yeah, you, you don't need to add an EV. Okay. You're ready to go, there you go, now you're in. So- It was telling me what to do, not actually do, yeah. I wasn't doing it. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. and so what we're gonna do- Wow, is, big old map of all the places, that's cool. Yeah, there's, I think, hundreds of thousands, maybe 500,000. Okay. So what we're gonna do, the steward particularly, what we did for tonight was we wanted to create it and simulate what it would be like if you're a resident here. Go ahead mm -hmm. and put the holster back oh, yeah. in. Yeah. So go ahead and click on the bottom right there where it says account. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna go to connections. Click the connections button. Uh -huh. And now hit browse connections. And you're gonna type in CP498120. Okay. 
Do you need me to obscure that from the video? Nope. I mean, it'll be deleted by the time. Oh, okay. I mean, you can't hurt maybe. Yeah. yeah it then, so you see there it says steward opening nights. We created a special event for tonight. You hit agree. And now you are a resident or you're a special get I'm privileges. On, I'm on the list. You're on the list, the VIP list. Exactly. I'm on a lot of lists. <laughs> this one is actually one I want to be on. Yeah. So now you Oops. should be authenticated. Oh, I like. And so should I? Do, I, nope, you don't need to know. Oh, it's let, just yep. You let go. Okay, so now go back. Hit, you know, go back to the main. Uh, hit, there you go. So go ahead and go. Just hit the back button here. Oh, I see. Yeah, and now we're going to go to the map. Mm -hmm. And so now that you're an official user, you've been authenticated to use it. You can go ahead and zoom in on where we are right now, and you mm -hmm. should see the steward chargers pop up. My you're gosh. now authorized. The more you zoom, the more more stuff shows up. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm right there. Yep, there you go. So keep zooming in, and Mine. you should, if it works properly. If it, it knows should. where I am? Is that yep. where I am? That is, I believe, where you are, yeah. So go ahead and give it one sec. There you go. So now they all popped up there. And there it is. They all popped up. So now there's 16 chargers here. So we are in spot number. Let's take a look here. So we're in spot number 11. Go ahead and find steward charger 11. Be there on the list. It says available. It did say available. And now you're going to go ahead and start charge. And now it's going to say, do you want to connect? Yes. And now it's saying, hold on, who are you? Are you authorized to do this? Green and light. it says, yep, you are. You are an authorized user. Green light it. Now with the J1772, we're going to need the NAX adapter. Which I have conveniently brought with me. There you go. Never used it before. There you go. Let's try it out. Nice tonight. Then turn it a little bit this way. I see. Oh, I see. There you go. Oh, yeah. That. There you go. To click. That's click. And now then... I just need to not forget it when I am. <laughs> there you go. And now, if all goes well, it's good enough. I open. hear a click over there, and it's green. Now, when it's my apartment, when I when I live here, what's the process? It's just it's just that much easier because it's the same thing every time. You just do it once, and you're good, right? So you move in here. We're going to give you a code <clears> one time and say, okay, do you have an EV? Yes. We're gonna give you a connections code. That means just oh. you have access to it. Look your credit card up to it. If, if the owner decides to set a rate, that way it'll charge you whatever the owner decides to charge for charging. And it will do the same thing. So you're now set up and says, you come in, you're an authorized user. Yes, you live here. And it will authenticate and say, okay, you are a resident here. You can charge, go ahead and plug in and it'll authenticate and then start charging you uh, whatever the rate is that the owner sets. That is very cool. Yeah. And it can be, and you can set your own idle fees Correct. You can set it to be by kilowatt hour, by time, and then you can also set overstay fee. So these are dedicated spots. So the owner is going to probably decide not to do that. He's going to just let them charge overnight mm -hmm. and just let it kind of play out overnight. But um, if you were in a place where there's public charging, or you're sharing it amongst all the residents, you can set an idle fee or an overstay penalty and say, hey, once you are done charging or once you charge for maybe four or five hours, then we're going to charge you by time until you go ahead and move. I think that's a good solution for workplaces. It is. Because you're definitely, you're awake. Please tell me you're awake when you're in the office. <laughs> yeah. Now I have a question for you. I don't know if you've heard of a little company called Electrify some parts of America sometimes. I've heard of the company. <laughs> they have uh, a few issues. Yeah. What does ChargePoint do to not have those issues? Do you know? Yeah, great question. With any charging company, there are a lot of... Um... A lot of things need to be worked out, right? It, it is a it's a complicated uh, time that you have a lot of ports in the ground all across the country that need to be serviced, need to be updated, and uptime is a really important part of it. So, um, ChargePoint has the Assure Parts and Labor Warranty, which these stations have as well. That is a both parts and labor warranty. So anything goes wrong with the station at all, uh, ChargePoint will send someone out, no cost to the owner, mm -hmm. and they will fix it, including the parts and the labor. Mm -hmm. If let's say, for instance, you back into this and you break it. Well, that is something that you did. <laughs> that's, so that's not, that's not your problem. That's not my problem. Right. But they that's will not under. That's not a warranty issue. That's a repair. That's a repair. But if you pay for the, the sure parts and labor warranty, they will still send out a contractor free of charge to nice. fix it. You pay for the part, but they pay for the labor to do it. So the goal with that is ninety eight percent uptime. Um, you know, it is frankly it's difficult to keep the stations all up and running all the time all across the country. But absolutely, yeah. But in here in Portland. ChargePoint has a certified contractor network of contractors locally that will come out. The station owner can put a ticket in, say, hey, we're having a problem with this station. Um, and they will come out and fix it within uh, 24 hours of knowing about the issue. That's fantastic. 
Now uh, I'm gonna so, so I'm gonna put these in. I'm gonna put them into my uh, my my apartment, whatever. How much do I get charged every month to have these? That's a great question. So you actually are not billed monthly. It is a there's an option to be billed monthly called ChargePoint as a service. So you can decide to let ChargePoint own them and you pay them a subscription, kind of like a software subscription. But what they've done in this instance, they bought the chargers. They own these. This is their asset. So they, the owner of the building bought the chargers and he bought a software subscription for the chargers. And then after that, it's all his. So he pays his utility bill every month. So every kilowatt hour that is charged, he pays the utility company. And then he'll be reimbursed in the back end whatever he charges his driver. So let's say that the utility rate is $0.10 cents a kilowatt hour and he charges the driver $0.15 cents a kilowatt hour. He would pay the ten cents the utility up front, and then ChargePoint would reimburse him on the back end for whatever the driver used. Yeah, so there's no penalty for low utilization if you purchase the equipment because it's your equipment. It's your asset. It's just like any other amenity that you buy, you own. Um, it is the buildings that they now. It's the, it belongs to the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything we're forgetting to ask on this? I think that pretty much covers it. They're everywhere. You can go to the website, check out the map, see how many there are. And if you're in the greater Portland area, yeah. you can, uh, uh, we'll put a link to all of their stuff down below and uh, you can check it out. Yeah. Guys, in the comments, what did we miss? What did we misunderstand? What questions should I have asked? Because if there's enough good ones, I'll just call them up and find out the answer. We'll do this again on Zoom if we have to. Uh, everybody else, like, subscribe. You know what you're doing. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots when you're charging your own car in a garage. <laughs>